are ya? Welcome to Happy Rails to ya. My name is Hobo Pep, and I've been riding the rails looking for an adventure to share with ya. Boy, have I got a story for ya today. Let me find a place to rest these weary bones. We'll see what treasure I've got for ya in my bindle. You know, my hobo sack. Come on. Train Off the Rails with Cody and Dot. Written by Robert Von Goben and illustrated by Mike Yamada. Cody and Dot are delivery bears who drive a delivery train. Day after day, around the loop, their job is always the same. They load up the boxes onto the train, then drive around the bend, drop off the boxes, go back home, and start all over again. No special trips or different plans, always the usual way. Same train, same route, the same little loop, every single day. When Cody and Dot first started their job, they never fussed or complained. Cody would guide the way on the map, and Dot would drive the train. But after a while, they needed a break. Was this the only way? Same train, same route the same little loop every single day. The loop was small, but it was tricky, as Cody's map would show. The hills, the corners, and lots of bumps. Dot, please take it slow. But one afternoon, when deliveries were done, the train bounced a little too high. They hit the big bump. The train took a jump and flew right into the sky. Crash went the train through very tall bushes, not in the usual way, and right off the tracks went Cody and Dot, not an average day. The train is okay, said Dot in a worry, but how will I know where to steer? Cody said back, we're off the map, but soon it was perfectly clear. In uncharted land with no map or plan, Dot had a carefree smile. Our deliveries are done. Let's go have some fun and drive off the tracks for a while. Cody didn't know. Where will we go and how will we ever get home? Just add to the map, Dot said back. Let's wander a bit on our own. So wander they did, as they steamed on ahead. There was just so much to see. Boats and planes and hard-working trucks. And wait, what could that be? One of their boxes on top of a boat, and one on top of a plane. Wow, just look. Those were the boxes that came from the little bear's train. But nothing prepared them for what came next as they steamed on past the lake. Over the hill came such a big thrill, Dot pulled the lever to break. Were those the boxes they loaded that day? Did they really come this far? But there they were, strapped on top of every truck and car. This is amazing, Cody exclaimed. I thought that our job was so small. Dot agreed. I know what you mean. It is a big job after all. After a while, Dot said with a smile, the sun is getting low. We should get back and find our track. Just tell me the way to go. Cody had marked every turn on his map, every left and right. And before they knew it, their little loop 
was coming back into sight. One final jump and back on the track, the way they'd always known. And on his map, one final note, Cody marked it home. Cody and Dot now see their world in a much more wonderful way. They deliver their boxes and then they explore every single day. Thank you for joining me for today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed. Always remember, continue riding the rails of your imagination as it will take you on an endless number of adventures around the world. Until next time, this is Hobo Chap saying so long as I go hop on a rattler in search of our next adventure. Happy reels to you.